I'm Yves Behar. We're here in a garage. It happens to be a garage in Milan with, uh, with Dazeen. Well, obviously there's been, you know, a slowdown. I mean, the economy in Italy is, um, is not very strong. So, you know, I think, I think what we see here from the Italian manufacturers is, you know, safe. It's like things that they feel is going to work, you know, this year. Um, on the other hand, you know, you have a world of technology that's, that's booming, really, that's, um, that's very dynamic. And uh, maybe what I'm missing is those two worlds to come together more. It's not about sort of putting a speaker in a chair or, you know, putting a, you know, a TV in a bed. I mean, that's not, that's not how, for me, technology and the home intersect. Uh, for me, it's a lot about sensors. It's about knowing where you are, the home knowing where you are. It's about entering and exiting the home in ways that are much more magical than carrying you know, sharp pieces of metal in your pocket. One of my new companies, of which I, I'm a co-founder in, is about the entry into the home. Cars have been like that for years. Uh, keyless entry in a car is, is a natural. Um, it's something that we're all used to, using a, a fob to get into our cars. Somehow the home has been very resistant to this, and some of it has to do with security, but today, you know, we know that actually technology, when, it's, when things are invisible, when things are, uh, is actually safer than, um, than physical, you know, artifacts. The kind of sensors that we wear on the body, like the app for Jawbone, is the kind of object that we live with and that really sort of gives us information. The next step for me, you know, with the app is, how does it talk to the rest of the home? Because this is a sensor and it's also you know going to be um, potentially a, a, you know a, a, an object that defines you know that, that basically tells the rest of the home where I am what I'm doing um, am I tired from a long day so the lighting should be really kind of mellow and calm or do I need to be energized so the ambience is going to be rocking you know uh, those type of things are going to be you know, both for, you know, both even for the object to just know how far am I from home? Am I about to get home? So maybe the temperature should go up. There's all kinds of new, you know, intuitive things that, um, that these technologies that we're wearing are going to do and interface with the technologies that are in our homes. Both for reasons of efficiency, but also for reasons of uh, comfort and having a home that responds to you, you know, in ways that are, um, that are going to be magical, I believe. Let's count to three, no, it's not hard to do.